Zerevchenko, as he was waiting in the core room to come out, had a very steely look on his face. He knows what he's up about to face, and uh, he is going to go after this one big time. He said, I'm going to come toe to toe with you. Still, the attack stands. Now, that's a telling, that's a telling decision from Florin Jorge. So he's going to allow for a little bit of stuttering in the attack in this fight. So Zobchenko has got to be very careful about attack on preparation. So now you can see straight away he knows that, and now he's trying to find the blade. So you establish a blade contact with your opponent's blade. It's your right of way, whether you're going backwards or forwards. And he's given that one as attack as well, even though so for a little bit of stuttering in the attack in this fight. So Zobchenko has got to be very careful about attack on preparation. So now you can see straight away you establish a blade contact with your opponent's blade. It's your right of way, whether you're going backwards or forwards. And he's given that one as attack as well. His cards early here. So anyone new to fencing, uh, this is all about the right of way. There, just uh, keeping his focus. World title at stake for, for the Russian. I don't think he would have uh, reckoned to have been at uh, absolutely one of the one of the favourite three. I would say Safin. And you might even say that Cherry Misinov would. Uh, Sixteen. And then Zerobchenko knocked out um, Alex Madrid. Zerobchenko is so compact coming forward, but his sword arm is up. The initiative, the momentum has all been with the Russians so far. Oh, that's good. This is the attacking. He lands it. He's got the tactical plan absolutely spot on in this first period, and at the, the hit rate that we've got, Zerubchenko could take this in the first period. Oh, big call. Well, two quick points for Saito. What's he done there to change things up? Change your approach, uh, but then your opponent's going to change. So you need to adapt to that. And sometimes second guess what they might be doing. Again, attack coming from Saito. So you see now he's using distance. So eight six the score. So you look at this dancing around in and out of distance. Now attack, attack, attack. No, he missed. Para repost missed from Zerubchenko, yeah. but he was able to get a remise of a or a new combination of arm, arm and leg. Then he he on that sort of slow down, his arm came back slightly, and that mean you know because you're not moving it forwards progressively all the way to the end of your attack. You give up the right of way. That time, direct, straight in there, have that. Still got uh, almost a minute left in this first period and scores 10-7 already. Here it comes again. That attack goes through, it's mal parried. The parry wasn't successful. Saito pressing again. Keeping that blade out of the way, this time it's off target for me. And uh, off target. It still, it still remains as, a, as off target. I, I can uh, slightly understand why the Russians called for it, but a uh, bit, bit of hope in that, one, in that decision. Japanese explosive all action has brought us to a fight that's 10 10, so the, yep. the styles are, are balancing each other out. But now, if anything, the momentum's changed to the Japanese fencer. And now he's taken the lead. More than happy to do that. Well, here comes oh, Saito just moving in, moving out. That time, Saito. 11 apiece. Oh, speed. Still pressing the Russian, still keeping Saito 
at bay. Para repost. Unlucky. Just uh, Target and the referee's given. I don't think it was. I think uh, Ilgar Mamadov actually made a, a little complaint. The coach uh, just asking the referee to confirm what he what he decided. Zarabchenko is really confident in his defence. Look disruptive as he's going backwards. The arm and he's coming forward. Slow press, but if he finishes, it can still be his. Um, yeah, attempted, yeah. He wasn't able to land it successfully. Zerubchenko won away from the world title now. Well, one back for Saito. Saito's got to go after Zerubchenko. As the attack goes through here, the referee's going to have a look at this. Yeah. The big call from the referee, and that is it. Zerubchenko is crowned champion of the world. And 